everyone. I hope you're all well. Today is Wednesday the 21st of June and I'm up and at bright and early this morning. It's only quarter to seven but I had to get Brooke up for a shower because she came in from cadets last night covered in camouflage makeup. I was like, yep. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, it's too late for her to have a shower when she comes in from cadets because it's back ten. Um, so I was like, you're getting up early for a shower, which means I have to get up early to get you up early for your shower. <laughs> Never mind, it means I've got more of the day to do whatever I'm doing, which as always isn't a lot. <clears throat> got a frog in my throat. Granny Annie is coming in before she goes for her bus too. She goes back to Falkirk on the Wednesday. And I've got a few things for her to take. She's going to be taking back the the resin things that I showed her on Saturday in the, the vlog. I'll link it in case you've not seen it. So she wants to take that back to show everybody. And uh, also I've made a sign for one of the ladies that are dancing who watches my vlogs. Hi Fiona! And comments all the time. She was wanting a sign made for her friend. So that has been done. So Granny Annie's going to take that back to her today, saves posting it. And other than that, I don't really know what's happening today. Don't know what the weather's going to be like. Um, oh, <laughs> talking of weather, did anybody see the farce that was the Scotland game last night? <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't tend to watch Scotland playing football. I, I'm interested in Celtic and pretty much that's it. I've never been interested in watching Scotland, but last night we were watching, what were we watching? Oh, we were watching the morning show on Apple TV. Has anybody watched it? I know it's been out for ages, but we had never really fancied it. And uh, we watched the first episode a couple of weeks ago and actually really enjoyed it. So we're enjoying watching that. When I came through to let Molly out, Jack was flicking the channels and he was like, oh, the Scotland game. <laughs> and it turned out that we were 1-0 up after six minutes. We were playing Georgia at Hamden, which is about 30 miles from us by road, maybe about 25 miles as the crow flies. And the game had been suspended after about eight minutes because the pitch was flooded. And we were sitting going, how can the pitch be flooded? We hadn't had a drop of rain. It was, the sun was streaming in. It was roasting because we had been on the terrace talking to my mum and dad about an hour before it or something. Um, they were getting ready to take Brooke to cadets. And we're like, how can the pitch be flooded? And we looked, hello big dog. Oh, I dare be without you. Jack's away running with Clyde and Will and poor Hugo doesn't like it. Apparently it had been raining really heavy before the game started, but there was a pitch inspection and the game went ahead. Then, after we scored, Phil and McGregor scored at six minutes, and they showed the footage and were like, oh my god, the, the pitch was like a swimming pool. Could not believe it. In fact, I took a bit of footage. <coughs> They were sweeping the, the water off the pitch and it was coming in waves. And I'm like, I have never seen anything like that before. So I'll put a bit of footage in just now because they were sweeping the water off the pitch on the telly and outside I couldn't see anything for sunshine. <laughs> Watch this. Back. No, we, we are joking, but you have to say that looking at the pitch now, uh, behind our umbrellas, I can't see anything for the sun here. <laughs> Absolutely roasting here. And then 30 miles away. <laughs> so there you go. It basically turned out that... They, they did about four pitch inspections and they kept saying, well, inspect the pitch. At, at first it was a 20 minute delay, right? We're suspending the game for 20 minutes and then if the pitch isn't playable, we're cancelling the game. Then it was, we're going to let the, the players have a run out on the pitch and the captains of both teams can decide whether they want to 
carry on or not. And I'm like, well, that's silly because regardless of the pitch, the Georgia captain's going to say, no, we don't want to carry on because they're one nil down. And they know that if they get suspended to like tonight, it would start at nothing each. So that happened. And then they said, we're going to wait another 15 minutes and about quarter to nine, we'll inspect the pitch again. So they did that. And then they said, right, we're going to let the team come out and warm up and then see. So the teams, my teams came out and warmed up and then got told to go back in again. And we're like, what on earth? It was an absolute farce. The game eventually, and it was funny actually, whoever it is that does the music at Hamden was having a right laugh because uh, they were playing, why does it always rain on me? And the whole crowd, I mean, there was about 52,000 people there. It was a sellout. Uh, the whole crowd are singing this song, why does it always rain on me? And then a wee while later, the DJ started playing Walking on Sunshine. And I'm like, he's having a right laugh with himself. Um, but eventually it was 25 to 10, I think, that they kicked off the game, which is crazy. I mean, the game should have been finished by the time they kicked off. Uh, but we, we managed to watch some of it and then fell asleep. But it was uh, just such an absolute farce. It finished 2 0 to Scotland. Um, what was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, yeah, the commentator at one point, I can't remember what he was talking about. And he, he said something like, yeah, Scotland have looked really lively in the first two hours, 36 minutes of this game. <laughs> because it was two hours, 36 minutes since the game had actually started. Anyway, I just thought, <coughs> my goodness, I just thought I would tell you that because I thought it really amused us. A bit of drama at Hamden Park last night. Crazy. Um, but what I was thinking about is the poor people that had to get trains and buses, there was no way they were going to be able to get home. Sorry, I hope you don't mind me having a wee blather with you while I'm emptying the dishwasher. Sunday was Father's Day. Now, I left you on, on Saturday. I showed you the gifts that I had got my dad for Father's Day, just a bar of chocolate and a wee set of whiskey. And he was really happy with that. And um, Jack and I had to go to Asda, I had to go through to Linwood to get dog food. And I said to him, do you know what, since we've not got the dogs and it's Father's Day, do you want to go somewhere a wee bit different for lunch? And he was like, nah, maybe, because we've not got a lot of money. And I said, even if we go to Burger King, he loves Burger King and I'm not a huge fan. I said, even if we go to Burger King and you can actually sit in for a change rather than having to eat it in the car in a rush. And he was like, yeah, okay. So we went to the, is it the Phoenix Retail Park it's called in Paisley? Not Paisley. Over that neck of the woods. Near Linwood, anyway. And it turned out that the Burger King was closed because they were doing a whole load of work in the car park and in the building, so we don't know if it's going to reopen as a Burger King or if it's getting changed. If anybody knows, let me know. Because there was no signs up. You know, you would expect a sign to say Burger King um, is getting improved. It will be open such and such. There was nothing to say that. It's okay, big dog. Poor Google. Um, so what we said was, well, there was a Taco Bell right across from it. Now, I've never had a Taco Bell. And uh, Jack had one with Abby a couple of years ago and he said he wasn't that impressed with it, but he said, we'll give it a go again. Well, we were not impressed. I'm going to put these dishes away and then I'll come back to you. Yeah, so we went into Taco Bell. Oh my goodness. So first of all, we had a look at the menu and I was like, oh, it looks really good. Um, and I went to the loo. So I went to the disabled toilet and I noticed that the sort of cupboard door, the stock cupboard, I'm assuming it was, was open slightly and you know that way that I'm in the toilet looking thinking I hope there's nobody in there <laughs> because they'll see everything. Um, and then TMI, I put my hand into the toilet roll thing to try and get toilet roll, discovered there wasn't any but as I brought my hand out the front of the toilet roll thing came down and whacked me on the face. I was like, oh, that was bloody sore. So I went out 
and I said to the guy behind the till, I said, um, by the way, there's no toilet roll in the disabled toilet and you might want to lock the toilet roll holder because it just whacked me in the face and he went, oh, sorry. I was like, okay, <laughs> yeah, glad to see you're concerned about me. I could have a broken cheekbone, but hey ho. Um, so I had got a cheese, cheese quesadilla. I'll have the quesadilla, ha <laughs> ha. And I'm not joking, I could have just went into Asda, bought a wrap, bought some grated cheese, put a tiny bit of cheese in the middle, folded it over and cut it up. It wasn't hot, the cheese wasn't melted, it was still grated. There was a tiny bit of cheese filling in the, sort of the centre of it and the rest was just wrapped. It was gross. And um, I mean, there was nothing else. It was wrap and cheese, nothing else, no sauce, nothing. Brooke and Abby make much better quesadillas in the frying pan here. So I wasn't impressed at that and I had got the seasoned fries. Now, I love salt on my food. Couldn't find salt anywhere. There was no condiments. There was nobody behind the counter to ask. Everything was empty. Um, and it's a good job because the chips were so salty, even for me. And I was like, mm, not impressed at all. Plus, where we were sitting, it was like a sort of booth type thing. And there was a raised bit beside us. And there was two sets of keys sitting there. And I'm assuming they were staff keys for like maybe lock in the cupboard that's in the disabled toilet. One of the staff members came over, picked up one set of keys, left the other set sitting there and went and did something and I thought, they're very trusting. What would they do if we just took their keys and sat with them for a laugh? Not steal them, but just took them out of the way. You know, would they realise where they'd put them, how they were lost or anything like that? You know, we could be burglars and we could go back at the middle of the night and steal their disgusting food, you never know. So <laughs> Jack wasn't impressed with his either. He couldn't eat the chips at all because he doesn't like salt in his food and they were way too salty for him. Um, and there was a thing on the table, it was a QR code and it says scan me for something like 10% off your next order and something free from the whatever menu today. And I went, oh, well, at least if we get something free, it'll sort of salvage something out of the the experience. So I scanned it. This, uh, what was it said? This promotion is no longer available. Why have them on the tables then? Oh my God, that just really finished me off. I was not happy at all. Wasn't impressed. It was over £16 and we were not impressed at all. Fair to say we will not be back at any Taco Bell. It was maybe just that one that was bad, but we'll never go back again. So, yeah, Jack's Father's Day lunch out was a bit of a bummer, really. It just wasn't good. Anyway, we still had a good day going to Asda, getting the dog food. It's good to get out and it was a nice day. Um, so, yeah, if anybody knows if the Burger King there will be reopening, let me know. I don't know if they're changing it into something else. So back to today, I'm going to go and finish getting Brooke's bag organised, get her sorted for school get the stuff ready for Granny Annie coming in. Uh, I don't know if I said, she gets the bus about the same time as the school bus, so Brooke and uh, my mum walk out there together. And we'll just take the rest of the day as it comes. I think that's all my news for just now. My God, I've been havering for 14 minutes. I don't know. <laughs> I'll see you soon. There's Granny Annie. I'm going to wait. Oh, she doesn't like having to go to Falkirk. I like it when I'm in here. Yeah, you like your classes, but other than that. Yeah. So she's just getting I'm the stuff. I'm home, but this week I'm home. Oh, you're home for a while, aren't you? A because week. A week? Oh. Because it's a yep. spooky castle. Yes, they've got a special one that works that doesn't bend. Yeah, you're going to a spooky castle for your special anniversary, aren't you? Yes. Yay! <laughs> Granny Annie is modelling my latest piece. Look at that. It is gorgeous. It is so nice. It's beautiful that's, in real life. Yes, that's one of the... Lovely sweetheart. I know. That's one of the um, moulds that I got from Amazon it's beautiful. last week. It's so nice. Oh, look at that. When you do that, it looks white, then blue, yeah, it's, um, and silver. Yep. 
It's chameleon powder that I put in there. Beautiful. Oh, right, okay. I have some serious memory problems at this point. You have, yes. You've got mega serious memory problems. So oh, the oh, puppy I'm cat. Oh, boy. Oh, Clyde, leave him alone. He just kicked me. <laughs> Put him oh. down to his breakfast. <laughs> I think he's all gone. <laughs> Sorted. You take your doctor paper with you, okay. Hey puppy cat, did you have your breakfast? Right, have a good day at school, have fun at Bogart. See you later, bye! Well that's them headed off and I got a team order yesterday. I was going to do a haul but I can't remember what's in it but I don't think there's enough to really make it worth a haul so I thought I would just show you just now while I'm unpacking it. Aha! Got some cotton buds for my crafts, not for my ears or anything like that because I use them a lot when I'm cleaning up the moulds. Oh, I forgot I'd ordered this. I do this all the time with Timu. So this is a silicon divider so you can put four different colours in and you pour the four colours at the same time and it gives a really nice effect. It'll probably take me a wee while to get used to it but I'm, I really fancy getting that to try. Oops. I don't, know, oh, I don't know what this is, but it's a bit bashed. Ah, oh. Yeah, I think... Oh no, we might be okay. <laughs> the reason I ordered was for sunglasses for Jack. He had got sunglasses from Timu in his one and only order, and then uh, either Hugo or Willa chewed them. So I was getting them new ones. What do we think? Cool. <laughs> oh dear, I thought they were smashed but they're not, they're fine. So they're jacks. I'll put the prices on the screen. Oh, this is a pyramid mould which I thought was going to be much bigger. Um, I did read the sizes but you know me, I don't know sizes unless I see something. It's not going to be big enough for what I was wanting it for. I was going to use it for the special thing that I'm making for the anniversary, but it's going to be way too small, I think. <laughs> I ordered a mould, which is the same as one that came with the Amazon stuff. This is what happens when I order from Timu and don't remember what I ordered. Although this wasn't an order on its own, this came with a bigger sign, which I suppose is okay. But it means that I've got this mould twice again. Might send it back, we'll see. It wasn't a lot of money. In fact, I'm not going to take it out. But it is a snowflake, Christmas tree, deer, Christmas tree, heart and bell. I might just return it, I think. Oh, that's nice. Look at the colour of that glitter. Oh, I like that. Good. That's redeemed itself. <laughs> it's not Tina's fault. It's my fault for being stupid. And, oh, I forgot I'd ordered these as well. It's little snowflakes, different colours. That's good. I like them. Yay. Again, I'll put all the prices on the screen, but that was it. So there wasn't really any point in doing a haul. I'll give Gla I'll give Glack his jassies. No, I'll give Jack his glasses. So um, my plan now that they're away is probably, I don't really want to do too much more resin, but I've got a couple of moulds that are half done here that I need to fill up. So I might just do that and then move on to doing something else. Craft wise, I've not done a diamond painting for ages, so I might do that. We shall see, I will let you know. <laughs> Timu, I have to say, are so good. I just went on to return the mould um, and it asks for your reason for returning it and I said I don't need it anymore, I didn't realise I already had it. And they had credited my account within two minutes and told me to keep it 
they are fantastic they are such a good company i have to say so if anybody wants that mold i've not taken it out of the packaging let me know in the comments below and i'll happily send it on to you how good is that unbelievable i mean it was only two pound ten it's not like it it would break the bank but within two minutes the money was in my account brilliant well in my team account not my bank um because it's fastest that way but I can pretty much guarantee I'm going to be ordering other stuff anyway, so <laughs> so there you go. If anybody wants that mold, let me know. Hello, it is now 12 o'clock and I have got changed because we've got stuff to take to the tip and I phoned the vet this morning to make an appointment for me Molly, her tummy's not right at all and she's had this quite a few times on and off so we're taking her into the vet. So I got an appointment at quarter to five and we thought right we'll take the stuff to the tip while we take Molly to the vet but Abby and Adam are wanting to take Molly to the vet so... I'm going to go with Jack to the tip and we're going to go for lunch because Abby is here to watch the dogs so we can actually go somewhere nice to make up for the taco bell the, or the tacky bell as it should be called um, that we had on Sunday so that would be nice we're going to go to the Arden Capel which is where I went with my mum and dad a few months ago and it was lovely so yeah nice wee unexpected lunch out let's go You say let's jump on a bus and take a ride downtown Well I don't know about that But can you help me first to get these boxes down Well I don't know about that We have the whole day now just to ourselves So we can clean the house or clear out some shelves You said whichever you feel like doing first I said well I don't know about that Cause it's my lazy day Just wanna lazy away Ain't gonna do a thing For the rest of the day You can try to seduce me Make me wanna play I don't know about that mm -hmm. I don't know about that Let's call some friends over For a game of poker or so I don't know about that Or should I turn on the TV or the radio? Well, I don't know about that but There's a whole list full of all the things we can do But I want to do none, wish that you did too So you can just keep trying and I'll just keep saying I don't know about that Cause it's my lazy day was an absolutely delicious meal wasn't it yep. so good won't need dinner now <laughs> which is good because it's now us taking me more way to the vet so yeah <laughs> because the girl played <laughs> that's a lot of money right there isn't it 's and I've just demolded the couple of things I needed to add more resin to today so we have got this which is a tea light holder I think that's turned out lovely it's very chunky 
It did take quite a lot of resin, um, but I like how that's turned out. That was a Timu mould. And look, we wish you a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. Yay! That's the first time I've used that mould. That was an Amazon one and I've had a wee whoopsie. That can be fixed though. Um, I had a bit of overspill from the white that I added today um, because I had already started taking it out of the mould then I realised that that bit there didn't have enough resin so I had to put it back in the mould and uh, add more resin to it. So that's why that happened. But the rest of it I think is nice. A wee bit blurring on the Christmas and the Happy New Year, but I can learn with it. Again, it does take a lot of resin, so I might not use it that often, but it's quite nice. So yes, we are back from the vets and it went okay. Um, Molly has had stomach issues on and off for the last couple of years and it had got really bad. We couldn't remember when it was. It was October 21, according to the vet and they thought it was maybe diverticulitis that she had and um, when they, when we took her today basically just every now and again she needs out all the time when she's pooing it's not very nice and um, she doesn't eat and it's been happening more and more and more and we thought we need to get her to the vet just to check her out and they said it's inflammatory bowel disease that she's got so there's two ways of dealing with it one is the diet and if that fails, then it's antibiotics every day for the rest of her life, which obviously we do not want to go down that route. So she's given us a new food, uh, a new suggestion of food for her. And we have to try her just on that and nothing else. And then if her stomach's settled, we can then slowly start introducing other things one at a time so that we can tell if there's a specific food that flares it up. Um, so she got a, an anti-inflammatory injection today and she's got a week's worth of antibiotics and we will see how it goes. So yeah, didn't expect to be doing that today but when we when Abby had said she was up again all night and she was still needing out a lot today, I thought, no, we need to phone the vet. So it was another one of these very unexpected days today. I thought it was going to be a run of the mill just in my craft room day. And it wasn't because Jack and I ended up going out for a run. We went to the tip and we went for lunch. It was lovely. Um, I had a gorgeous table with a view. I was sitting looking out over the water and all the boats. And the meal was really nice, really tasty. Um, and we've not needed dinner tonight now. And then we ended up taking Molly to the vet. So once again, a day in my life where we just have to go with the flow and move with the changes. <laughs> just go with it. But I hope you've enjoyed it as well. I hope you've enjoyed coming with us. I'm just going to end it here. Planning to put the feet up and watch a bit of telly now. And um, yeah, that'll be it for this vlog. I hope you have enjoyed it. If so, please do hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget, talk to me in the comments below. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in our next one. Thanks everyone. Bye.